Good morning my friend, welcome back to my channel, it's so good to have you here today. Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. Today I am going to be playing with fabric and paper and lace and I'll be doing some sewing but not on camera. So I've made up this um, this morning just so I had a rough idea of where I was going with it and I just think it's super cute. Let me lift it up a little bit for you. It's a little pocket, well actually not so little, it takes up about three quarters or so of the page. It's not glued down yet, um, so I will keep it for a time when I know what journal it's going to go in. It ended up quite autumn themed, but it is actually using the Spring Bounty Kit from the Junk Journal Studio. So I'm going to be working with her digitals uh, today as well. And this tag is just one that's out of my finished ephemera box just to show you that you can put you know a nice big tag in there so I've put it up from the bottom so you'll have a glue line uh, so a nice big tag sits in there you could go even wider or you could do a nice big journal card and I just thought that was super fun really textural pretty and fun did I say fun already I think I did okay so put this aside and this is what I'm using. It is bunting that my husband bought in the post-Christmas sales. So it, there were two. One says Merry and one says Christmas. So this is the Christmas one. So I'm up to the M. I have prepared some, the, the rest of Christmas. So I used the C for my, um, my bunny one there. And I just cut them all the size. Um, they do have the felt letter on and you could leave it on and just cover it over but I just didn't want the unnecessary bulk even though it's quite thin so just really easy to peel off and I'm not saving it because it you know gets a bit damaged and distorted and I honestly don't know what I'd do with it and it's sticky so where do you put it that it's not going to stick to everything and become a complete and utter mess. The other thing I discovered is that these aren't straight. And that's okay. I don't mind. If they're not straight, they're okay. Um, just adds to the charm. And then I use one that I've already cut just as a quick and simple way to do the cutting. So I was really happy when Hubby picked me up a couple of these banners. I've got two of them, so four all together, two Marys and two Christmases. But I wasn't actually sure what I was going to do with them when he brought them home. So they've been sitting around, and then this morning I just happened to see them sitting beside me in the office. It was like, oh, I know what I want to do. Right, I just need to pause you because my beautiful girl Kelly has come home and she needs some food, so I'll be right back. It's really good to see Kelly. Um, she was home last night and before that she hadn't been home for like three days. And we don't like it when we don't see her because we don't know whether she's okay, whether she's hurt or anything. So just really happy to see her again today. Come home for some lunch because it's close to lunchtime here as I'm recording this. Um, so my apologies. I don't know what I was saying before that. Um, maybe about hubby picking these up and I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So yeah, I saw them and it was like, okay, an idea came to me and let's have a play. So I've got lots of fabric scraps from my quilter friend that we can add in. And I've got some lace and then we'll use the digitals from the junk journal studio so my plan is to construct these lay them out and then i will do the sewing off camera and then we will i will come back and we'll decorate them up that's what i'm hoping for so we'll just see how we go time wise um i'll probably when i turn pause the camera i'll probably have a lunch break as well because we've got about half an hour till lunch time so I'm sure I'll be able to get the bases done in that time I hope if I don't muck around too much so I seem to be going very very fully um, 
which is interesting because I'm working with this Spring Bounty digital kit. But I think it also helps to show you how versatile a digital kit is, even a seasonal one. So not a bad thing. I think I'm just I'm just going with whatever I like, you know, whatever inspires me from what I've got sitting in front of me. I do have the big bag as well in case I need to grab some more bits out. Sorry, I will be fighting with strings a bit. Now, there is a sticky residue on this um, Hessian. So I will be making sure I cover that sticky residue with either my fabric or my paper elements or my lace. One or one of those. Um, just so there's no sort of sticky residue so it will stick your journal pages together. Okay, I'm liking that. There's a bit of brown. Should we go brown? It's very autumn-y, isn't it? As I sit here on this beautiful spring day. It's just another stunning sunny day, but oh my, I just opened the front door to let one of our other cats out so she didn't um, annoy Kelly. And the wind is ferocious. So cold. Oops, okay, that's not with the grain of the fabric, obviously. Okay. Um, if that's the grain there, be about there should be with the grain. With the warp or the weft. And I think Kelly is making her way over here for cuddles. So we may have a little visitor. And I might have to put the camera on pause again. Just a little snippet of this, I think. Yep, she's jumped up beside me. She's going to be making an appearance very soon, I would hazard a guess. Now I don't mind that it's a bit sort of all over the place. I think that just adds a bit of fun. Hey Kelly, did you want cuddles my baby girl? Oh, here she comes. <laughs> and she's arrived. Okay, this is going to put, oh she's got grass and stuff attached to her. This is going to interrupt my plans for a bit, so I do apologise. Um, I hope you enjoy getting this wee glimpse of Kelly and now I'm going to spend just a few moments having a cuddle with her. I'll pop you on pause again. Hopefully I'll be back soon. Okay, I have just um, managed to rid my arms of Kelly, <laughs> which sounds horrible but I don't mean it that way. And so I'm just going to quickly try and finish these up. We didn't actually get very far, did we? Um, before she comes back because I don't think she's quite finished having cuddles. So let's see how quickly we can do some. Um, I have grabbed out a few more fabrics because I realised most of the ones I had out were ones I'd picked for a masculine journal. So they're kind of more on the brown and um, blues and greens kind of vibe. So that's that one. Uh, we almost got through that one, didn't we? Right, so I'm going to try and go for more springy colours this time and do a few that are nice and bright and happy. Um, so I really like this yellow. It's really pretty. Uh, something to note about this banner th stuff, whatever you call it, um, it does have like an interfacing on the back of it or a stabilizer, which is very handy. It means it's kind of smooth surface, also should be easier to glue down and will prevent it fraying too badly. Uh, but I do go around with a zigzag. That's what I did on the one that I've completed and I'll do that with all of these as well. Just want to get off some of these strings. I'm not worried about getting them all. And what I don't get, I will trim so they're not too hairy. I don't mind strings um, at all. I like the, the look, but, you know, you can have too many. You definitely can have too many. Especially if they're sort of being in the way or interrupting your composition. Or just plain distracting, actually. Right, so I think that could actually be a bit shorter. So, let's we snip it off the bottom there, there was more strings. If you do a fabric project, you just can't get away from the string factor. Right, there we go. So this is a really sweet little dotty fabric. Got a bit of cat fur on there. I think Kelly's now going out, so I think we're actually safe. But it is now lunchtime, so I'm in a hurry to get these done. So I can go have some lunch.
and I'm going to have a few parts to this video to stitch together um, because I thought Kelly was just fast asleep in my arms and I thought this isn't going to be short so I ended up stopping the video I had put it on pause but I stopped it and um, like literally a minute later she hopped out because I moved so she was like nah you're going to move I'm I'm off so she's gone have, had a few biscuits and now she's she's gone outside but that was lovely you know got to make the most of the time with your kids don't you and what about some of this green that's a fun green it's like a grass pattern I think it goes that way so I was very very pleased this morning when I did my prototype of the pocket um, because I haven't used my sewing machine since I had my ankle surgery and I really wasn't sure how it was going to go so my ankle surgery fixed my ankle in place so it, you know it's, it's stuck in a certain position it's not going to ever move again um, so I wasn't sure how it was going to be an operating foot pedal on the sewing machine it, and it certainly required some adjustment you know I had to work out how best to do it but I am pleased that I can still sew on the sewing machine wouldn't that be horrible if I just couldn't actually do it I was pretty confident confident I would be able to do it, just a bit nervous about doing it and trying it out and, you know, not hurting myself in the process or, you know, not being able to moderate how fast, how far I was pushing the pedal down. So, you know, ending up going too fast or something crazy like that. I think that's quite pretty. Shall we go for a different lace this time? I've got this fun ruffled one here in yellow. along the top there that could be nice let's do that let's cut it slightly longer because it's a with the curve on it it's a bit hard to to tell whether I've got it the right length so cut it a bit longer and we should be good so there we go there's another one so I've got four more to do do you think we can get these done quickly I'm gonna give it a shot now this is kind of a brownie soft creamy brown and I'm gonna try and partner it with some brighter colors and see how we get on the beauty of doing these, um, the way I'm doing them, is I can always switch it out. If I decide something's not working, then I'll just change a piece. So I think this is very pretty, and I like this plain bit as the inside as well. So I'm just kind of checking where my sticky bits are from the felt letters. Okay, that's that, and this one actually could, might be one that could go any season, I have a feeling, because... This is de definitely sort of autumn colours as well. But not totally. Like I think it would also work for spring or summer. And I've kind of ended up with a formula. I'm going three bits of fabric and some lace. You could also use ribbon. Ribbon would be really pretty. Um, I've got a little bit of ribbon in my pottle but not a lot. And these creases are going to come out because I sew around each piece. Um, so they'll all be flattened out when I do my sewing. Because I don't iron. If I can avoid it at all costs, I don't iron. Now what would be a nice pairing with that? Do we want some more of this yellow? I didn't grab out any of the plain fabrics. Let's try a wee snippet of this. Gosh, I'm hungry. <laughs> It's that time of day but oh it was so good to see Kelly I, get, I told her off last night when she finally came home after being away for a few days I says you need to come home even if it's just for a few moments let us know that you're okay that you're safe that you're well J just you know just a few minutes every day at least and grab some food and so to see her again today was yeah it was good she must have listened to me I feel right what about this lace is it going to Mm, blends in a bit much. Okay, might have to grab my bin closer. I've got some gold ribbon. What about that? Whoops, I'm dropping stuff all down on the floor. Oh, that's kind of nice, isn't it? Something a little bit different. Adds a bit of shine and shimmer. Oh, I like that. Let's go with that. Okay, again just cutting it slightly longer than what I need it okay so that's three done three to go 
Okay, next one. Let's go some pink. Feeling pink vibes. I might start. Look at this one that I pulled out. I didn't know this one was in there. It's a sweet little pink birds holding little daisy. And it's kind of a waffle fabric. It's very textured. It's super fun and so cute. I had not noticed this in the bag before. So that was a fun find. Oh, it's um, harder to tear. I will say that. And go like that. I don't mind the irregular shape. That's just more fun. That tore easier that way. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. And then this wee pink bit. It's got wee teddy bears on it, which is adorable. Shame I don't have a big bit of it because it's super cute. So I'm thinking, do we just want to like a little scrappy? Scrappy piece like that. We're not getting a whole teddy, but that's all right. Can't tear fabric when I'm holding scissors. Oh, this is very hairy. <laughs> that's all right. You can always trim them up after the fact. It's got a little curve in it. That's actually kind of fun quite like that and I've got this lovely little polka dot pale pink with white polka dot so let's use some of that and it's got some sort of line or floor so I'm just going to take that off as well it looks like a pencil line but it's not it's, it's like a list a missing thread or something out of the middle of the, the design so I'll just get rid of that because if it if I noticed it now and it was bugging me now it will bug me once I've got everything together mm, no there that's better okay and lace I have this pink one I've got such a mess on my desk, people. You would not believe. Lace fabric just tangled ridiculousness. Um, just trying to decide which way is up. I don't know whether the white's supposed to be visible or if that's actually the back, but I quite like the white in the middle of the petals. Okay, I think just through there. There we go, another one done. Second to last one. We're rocketing through. Yay. Okay, time for some blue with some pretty blue bows. Pretty, pretty pastel blue. Now it's cut this way, but I believe that the grain of the fabric is this way. So let's just oh. yeah, so I've got it about right there. Okay, let's go there. I'm just being very random with where I tear it. Oh, what about that? Just a nice big bit there. What am I going to pair with it? I've got a stronger blue here. Do we like this with it? It's got some orange on it. It's a very interesting shape here. So I might just cut it. because I have no idea which way the grain's going. And if I mess around, I could end up with not much left that's usable. that edge is annoying me and I don't think I'll get that to sew flat so let's see if we can tear it oh yeah that wasn't too bad I'm not sure if I like these two together actually but let's press on it might be the third fabric that brings it all together um, how about this little piece 
pot, it's got flowers and butterflies. It's got the pink and the blue. Do we want the orange and the pink together? I don't mind orange and pink together, just depending. Um, again, it's got interesting little bits out of it. Oh, well, that was not very successful. We could just have all those fluffy bits at the bottom, though. There we go, that's better. You know, I do like that. I'm just not sure if this one is working for me. Um, what else? And we were going so well, weren't we? We were rocketing along. Perhaps we need a stronger blue. So maybe this, would this work? Oops, everything's sticking to that residue of the letter. We could put... Before I trim it off, I'm just going to... Hmm. Or we could bring in some yellow. Because <laughs> there's yellow in that one actually. That's almost the right width. And actually I could probably leave it that width. Um, and it will just get caught up in the zigzag that I do around the edge of the pocket. It's a bit of smoothing down. It's a bit crinkled. Oh, I don't know whether it completely works, but I'm actually liking it. So <laughs> I think I've mucked around long, long enough with it. Oops, it doesn't help if you drop stuff, do you? Oh, there, I like that down the bottom there. Okay. Like that. Yes, I like that. Or do I like it right along the bottom? No, I think I like it there. Okay, one more to go. And then it's my lunch time. And then I'll come back when they're all sewing. <coughs> Excuse me. After I've had some lunch. And we'll do the decorating. So I have no idea how long this video even is now. Um, with the interruptions. And already have two parts of it to stitch together. Now this is really pretty. Bit of orange. Very odd shape. That's all right. We'll just cut it down into something a bit more. Don't mind a wee corner missing. We can deal with that. Green and orange are quite nice together. Yes, I like that. That sticky residue is actually quite handy for sort of holding everything in place. Right, now what colour are we going to put that, or what pattern? Oh, this is an interesting wee scrap. That's pretty. I love how bright and bold this is. Super pretty. Playing with composition. It's just a little bit annoying that crease. So let's kind of try and fold it back the other way. It'll be fine once it's sewn down. No, it's still wanting to be difficult. This actually feels like it's almost a silk. Hmm. No, it's not gelling for me. Oh, I'm finding some wonderful scraps. Look at these sunflowers. Again, it's an um, interesting shape. I don't know whether I can kind of... Hmm. 
get something that's not too too irregular so those two wee scraps can go but that one will save How about that? That is actually making me happier. I think I need to bring that down a bit. Now there's nothing to say that I only have to use three pieces, so what I'm thinking is another bit of the sunflower. Oops, come on, straighten out. Oh, that's wonky, isn't it? No, I actually don't like that so much. I think it's three. I think it has to be three. Okay, so there is a rule that says it has to be three, <laughs> at least in my head. Um, now I've changed the bit that I'm using. I'm going for this bigger bit, and that's not. There, that's better. That's it. Right, stop fiddling. That's fine. It looks lovely. Okay, what am I going to put with it? I've got some organza ribbon here in red. I wonder how that would look. And I'm just sewing these with white. Um, partly because there is like a white running through the hessian and it's also stitched at the top. You know, it's folded over into a loop where the um, string went through. So I thought, well, I'll just stick with that. You know, it gets lost. Okay, what else have we got? What about this one? Go up the middle. Yep, I like that. Now I could even thread ribbon through that if I wanted to. Um, but I think I don't think I will because I've still got paper elements to add to these. Right, so we're all ready to go to the sewing machine. Uh, so I shall see you back this afternoon once these are all sewn and we'll do some decorating. For you it'll be just the blink of an eye. Back soon. Hello again. Welcome back. I say welcome back because I'm the one coming back, not you. For you, it's been like the blink of an eye. For me, it's been a good probably couple of hours since I recorded the first part of this video. So just a reminder, more for myself, because it's fresh in your minds, this is what we're doing. So I have sewn all of my pieces together. So that's the one I did before I started any of the video. Let's have a look. I have chosen out just a few little pieces. So I'm going to be decorating with ephemera fussy cuts from Spring Bounty. It's a kit by the Junk Journal Studio. Um, there's six parts in the kit. So six kits essentially. And they're massive. There's so much to play with. I haven't finished cutting it all out. Uh, but I've cut all the words out. Um, words, phrases and definitions. So we're going to use some of the words and use what, you know, select from the fussy cuts that I have actually cut out because there's more than enough here to play with. Um, I, I still need to get on and do the rest. But I'm sure we will find plenty to play with. So let's get on. So this is the first one. Uh, first one on top of the stack, not necessarily the first one I did with you guys in composing. And I thought this lovely little piece here would look very sweet on here. So I am going to ink around. So I will take the time to do that. And let's find a word to put with it or a phrase or a definition. Something along those lines. Right, I'm thinking maybe a word and the words like super amazing they come in five different colors so we've got purple pink and green that you can probably see and then there's blue dig a bit deeper there's blue and then right on the bottom because that's the ones i first cut out are the white words oops if i can dig down and so what have we got here Ooh, where's that piece gone lost it there for a minute um 
just looking for something that we might want to pop with it. Planting could be splendorous. What an awesome word that is, isn't it? Splendorous. Maybe that's a... Like that. Or we could pop that up there and that down there. Oh, now she gets to playing and now comes the time sucking. Oh, actually, I've had an idea. Um, which way am I going to do it? I think I'm just going to make a little banner end. So about the middle, just make a little slit and then go from the corner up to the top of that slit, hopefully, if I can see right. And then same on the other side. It's a very quick and easy way to make a little banner. Maybe I'm inspired to do a little banner because I made these spaces out of banners. Back down a little bit. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's sync it up. I won't do the bit that's sitting under the, the image. Just giving them a little focal detail. I mean, the, by itself, that is super pretty. But, you know, we like layering. So I'm just going to lay more stuff. Do I want to tuck that under the lace? I think maybe I do. And the bird's flying out from under the lace. Maybe across a little bit about there. Okay, now for the other one, the first one I did, I used my alcohol-based glue, which I love using for fabric. Um, but it is running low. So I'm going to try my tacky glue. Where I'm just gluing a piece straight onto the fabric and use the alcohol one where it's going to be on the hessian. Because the hessian is a lot more textured of course so it's got a smaller surface area to actually adhere to i'm just going to pop that under there maybe make it straight would be a good idea because the fabric's not straight so not try not to line it up with the fabric oh i need to glue this down don't i duh what a dodo okay Let's hurry up and get this. So this is my alcohol-based glue. I need to get some more of it, but um, last few times I've been to the shop that sells it, they didn't have any. And then my friend Lydia over in February and June just picked herself up a bottle. And I saw that they've changed the bottle, so it's no longer the white bottle like I've got there. It's now a clear one which I think is actually super helpful for knowing when you're running out. All right, just going to slip that in under there and put a bit more glue on if it decides it's going to play up. And I know this alcohol glue is going to stick really nicely. Um, it will soak through a bit there, but once it's dry, it'll be fine. Oops, got some on my... cutting mat there so just rub that off and I'm just going to sit that upside down while that glue dries so it doesn't stick itself to my desk or anything silly now for this one I've chosen out this really lovely bird and I thought the colors work beautifully like so so again we need a word or a phrase or something De definition maybe let's have a look at the definitions I've as I cut, I separated them out into piles. So I put all the definitions into a little bag. I took out all the um, references to certain events like St. Patrick's Day, Easter, um, months of the year. Because this is for the Northern Hemisphere and our spring is in different months. So I've put those in a separate bag and they can be used for our autumn no reason why they can't be um, but just so I'm not constantly like searching for the right word and coming across all the Easter ones or something like that delightful that's lovely 
And the beauty of these is they come in multiple sizes. So the definitions, the words, the phrases, they all come in a variety of sizes, which is just awesome. Spring adds new life and new joy to all that is. And that's lovely, isn't it? Playing with the placement. I think I like that one, the spring quote. Okay. Right, so let's put this one down first this time. Uh, actually, I want to ink it first. It has got a slight edge to it. I'm just making it a little bit darker. And it works really well. Okay, now the tacky glue, because we're just going on top of the fabric. It's really warmed up here now. Today, I was quite cold this morning. There was actually a bit of a frost this morning. A spring frost. Right, that's lovely. Okay, let's do our bird. Get a bit of an edge as well. There is a border around these fussy cuts and on some of them I've gone around the border and some I've gone inside the border and cut around the actual uh, object, whatever it happens to be. Just depending on the element and how many sort of small delicate pieces there are. Where there's a lot of delicate pieces I use the border or... Um, trim inside the border but not right up to the image and then this one I thought was had big enough pieces I could do right up to the actual image so it, it really gives you flexibility in how you want to use them how you how you even want to cut them out which I think is wonderful okay now most of this is on the fabric and just a bit of the tail and head on the hessian so I'm going to go tacky first and then I can put a little bit of the alcohol glue on those bits. Should it be required? Get right out into the beak. So I think I'll just got a little bit sticking out the top there of the alcohol glue so I might just Put that on anyway. Rather than waste it. Otherwise it will just dry and be thrown out anyway. A little bit. The other thing that would be lovely on here is a bit of hand stitching. Like you could do a cross stitch quite easily on this hessian. That would look really cool. Ah, oh, I just think these look so pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? Just love that. Okay, that one hasn't seeped through, so it's all good. Right, this one I haven't chosen anything out for, so let's have a wee look. And see what we might like. So we've got somewhat autumn colours going on, but that's okay. We can use something springy to bring it mm, I like the colours, but maybe the size is not quite right. Here's a wee daffodil. So that could be quite nice. Or there's these wee um, definition tags. These are the smallest. They come in three sizes and this is the smallest one. Nothing. It does have elements of these colours. Um, 
just have to have a wee play for a bit. If I was going to use it, I think it would be over here. No, no, it's not doing it for me. It's white flower or there's some lilies here. No. What about a butterfly? Ah, look at that. Straight away, when all else fails, a butterfly. Love that. Okay, let's see. What colour? We could almost go a green word. Fascinating. There is a little, it's a different green, but I'm not too worried about that. Or white would be the other option, I think. Ooh, what about sun filled? Oops, dropping them out. Um, got butterflies. You'd almost want to put more than one butterfly on, though, if we were going butterflies. And I haven't cut out the smaller versions yet. I do like that though. Mmm. Making it hard for myself. Sun filled. Um, what about joyful? Butterflies are very joyful, aren't they? No, it's too short. I like the longer words. Um, inspirational. There's a long word. There we go, that's that's one up for me. Now these aren't in yellow, which is perfectly fine because we can make them yellow. So let's grab out a drop page, if I can find one. Okay, this will do. A bit big, it's just a um, calendar page. And let's grab some ink. Now this is quite a bright ink. So I will have to be careful. Um, where's my sponge gone? There we go. Found my sponge. Got to get the right colour sponge, you know. Can't mix and match them. Now I'm just wondering. No, there's not much on there. So I'm just... Dipping it in the ink, then taking a little bit off the sponge onto my drop paper. Just so I don't end up with it too bright, because I've found this is a very juicy ink pad. And it can be very shockingly bright sometimes if I'm not careful. But it's a beautiful colour. And I think that just gives us that little bit of yellow to tie in with everything else. Yes, I like that. Good, good, good. Okay, let's give it some vintage photo now. So the white ones um, just give you so many options because you can just give them a little ink and tailor them to whatever colour you would like. Okay, and this is one where I've cut inside the border but still left just a very narrow outline. Um, actually, yeah. Let's grab that bit of paper back, and I'm just going to get the antennae there. Ink those up. Get that ink required. Gosh, there's a helicopter still flying around outside which tells me I heard it or oh, maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes ago maybe even 20 and usually when we hear a helicopter that close and that low it means it's um, coming into the medical center to do a, a medical evac and now I'm hearing the helicopter again which means it was actually that so it came and landed at the medical centre and now it's taking off on its way to hospital. 
um, so hopefully whoever it is is okay or going to be okay obviously they're not okay at the moment otherwise they wouldn't need to be flown to hospital I didn't hear any um, sirens or anything from a like an accident so I would assume it's you know something like heart attack or some other unpleasant thing like that and I'm sorry people that's a really um, morbid horrible thing to talk about isn't it my apologies but just um, distracted by the sounds of the helicopter and knowing what that means my husband used to work uh, be a volunteer on the St John's ambulance locally for um, for a few years so I'm I'm quite attuned to things like that because once upon a time the siren would go and he'd he'd be the one rushing off to the emergency or his pager would go and he'd be running out the door and I'd be stuck at home worrying and praying and you know all that sort of stuff until he got back home again especially if it was like an accident or something because those things aren't nice to go to oops mm. See, my glue's just exploding out the top. So I'm just going to use it all up on this word. Try and spread it out as much as I can. Oh, it's very, very stinky, this glue, being alcohol-based. But it is very, very effective. go love that super pretty and I think that one will probably seep through a bit so I'll, oops pop that upside down to dry as well okay this one I haven't oh there's a few here I haven't chosen anything to go with that's okay so we've got blue blues going on oh that's kind of fun isn't it got a totally different um, aesthetic happening which yeah is super fun I'm thinking a blue word but wondering whether that's going to actually tie in that's quite a light blue um, I'm just not looking at the word I'm just looking at the color at the moment blue might be too much um, we could actually go pink spring fashion playing with placement again I want to take that down a little bit so I can fit it on Maybe just the one end maybe Put it right to that edge and then this one right to this edge because I don't want to cover all my lace could bring it down maybe a little maybe we could fit it in about the waist where it dips in here that could be fun Oh, that's cute okay right now I've got to try and get it all in the right place so start with some ink and glue this down right Out there, hopefully. That's where it's going now. Okay, ink this. Let's 
So I left a bigger border on this one. Also depends on my mood too, as to how much of the border I leave on. I tend to find I leave more border on once I've been doing it for a while. I get more sort of rushed. Um, or something. Oops. would like to have it straight. Okay, right, now I'm going to try and get it down in the right place. I do have a little short amount of time to reposition with this glue. I haven't used art glitter glue, but it seems to me from what people say that it sets a lot quicker. Um, this is quick, but I think it probably has a little bit more give time. Which is... Handy. Right, make sure I give it enough glue that it's going to hold. Right, straight. And so we can get all our words in there. Just right on the edge of the pocket there. I think that's straight enough. Just want to get that. Oops knocking things over here just a little bit in those white patches because I didn't cut those out just give them a little bit a little bit of ink here we go I think that's fun super fun cool okay that one's fine right maybe we'll do this one because I've chosen out this little um, mini tag with the definition on it and I just need to put something with it I think not sure what because we've got words so I'm thinking not to add more words um, we've also got image so do we need another image Mm, no, no, wrong colours. Um, what else? Oh, bird. Oh, doesn't little birdie look nice on those colours? Could have the bird holding on to the little tag. Oops, that covers her face. Maybe not that way. <laughs> that would work though. I don't know. I think that's actually quite cute. Okay. Let's see if we can compose it so it actually works with the glue once it's glued down. I just like that this the amusing factor of having the bird holding onto the mini tag. Just a cute little funny detail. Can connects the two in you know in that story like way. It's picked it up and it's carrying it off to its nest. You know, a bit like magpie or a um a crow or something like that would do. Okay, so I don't want to glue that claw down. Um, did I want? No. I do want that one underneath. The top one goes underneath and the bottom one goes over top. I 
times that blue seepage there okay now we'll pop our wee girl on wee girl's going for a wee fly with the birdie with the giant birdie currently oops that wasn't ideal try not to drop it into the glue dear over too far because we don't want her face to be in the claw there we go and now I can glue this foot down there we go <laughs> that amuses me I'm strange that amuses me okay lovely sweet right final one we're almost there Hope you're enjoying this video. Something a little bit different and fun playing with. Oh, I'm on a bird kick now, you see. Oh, I like that. Yep, that's going to be it. Um, and a word, maybe a green word. Bird watching. Oh, yes, it's got to be that, doesn't it? Don't you think? Awesome. I am wondering about cutting this space out though, rather than inking it, so bear with me. Um, I'm going to do it slightly differently this time uh, than last time I did cut out the space on camera, which was in a video this week. I can't remember what video, but I did do cutting out the, the little gap. On something and then I just made an X and now I'm going to go in and trim inside that space because it's large enough to do this with I'm not going to worry about the little bit between the leaves and I'm probably I'm actually undecided probably not going to worry about the bit between the birds legs now I've made a mistake here actually because there's a border right around the whole thing but I haven't left a border in here. Never mind, small detail. I'm sure people won't analyse it that much and go, ooh, messed up there. I'm sure that's just what something I would do to myself. I do tend to, you know... If I wasn't on camera, I would go back around and cut all that border off and take it right back to the bird. I, I seriously would. But because I'm on camera, I'm not going to do that to you. I'm not going to make you sit through me re-cutting out this image. So you're saving me from myself, guys. How's that feel? <laughs> you have a role in my day. I hope you know that. Because I, I do try and think of you. Obviously, I'm talking to you. Um, and I try and think about you as I'm working. And consider what you might want to see. And, you know, try not to do things that are too repetitive or boring or, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, yes, you're a very pretty birdie. Very pretty. don't know what sort of bird you are but that doesn't matter you are still pretty I would fail my bird watching uh, girl guide badge wouldn't I so I don't know what sort of bird you are but you're probably not a New Zealand bird I'm probably fairly safe to say that not one we have here Glued up. And if any parts come away when I come to put these in a journal, then I'll just add more glue. Easy peasy. Right. 
final step and cut the bird uh, sorry the the word it rhymes doesn't it right now that's partly on the hessian so let's go with the alcohol blue shut it quickly before I get too much coming out the top to see me it's just being friendly it wants to say hello but I'd rather it stay in the bottle for another day okay so we've done them all and I've got a big pile of fussy cuts here so we didn't really use that many there are so many more to play with which is so exciting who doesn't love fun things to play with and decorate with just so so joyful so i don't think i've actually said but i am on the design team for the junk journal studio and this is my first little design team project just a little taster to get me get me started um because i i couldn't help myself i just had to dive in and use some of these beautiful images that i've been cutting so let's have a look at the ones that we've done so we've just done this little bird, which is super cute. This is the one that I did off camera as a prototype to make sure I sort of knew where I was going. And we've got this lovely bird one. And then this fun spring fashion one. And then this bird one, which I think that's a kingfisher. We do have kingfishers in New Zealand. With the lovely spring quote and then over here we have our splendorous pink one and then our yellow butterfly one I, I can't even put them all in frame because they they take up too, too much space but pop that on a journal page like so with wherever it's gone with a tag of some description or a journal card or, or whatever poking out the top oh, I'm very happy with those I hope you found this as inspiring uh, if you don't have any of this because you know I don't know if that's freely available anywhere then you could use any type of fabric um, you could use hessian if it doesn't have this convenient seam that came on these um, then just give it a quick seam and I did go around all of these with zigzag just to make sure that it stays together if it does decide to fray but it will be glued down as well so I don't think it will be too much of an issue but super fun really fun uh, grab yourself some fabric scraps and some fussy cuts and some words and bits and pieces whatever you like um, thoroughly recommend this spring bounty kit it's like isn't that just beautiful and happy and colorful and lovely okay guys i'll let you go now it's probably been a long enough video uh i'll catch you again soon take care everyone bye